my 17th day in the Faroe Island. So the, for the past few days, I was just staying indoor mostly, cooking, cooking, cooking a lot. <laughs> I don't know if I am a good chef or not, but uh, each time I cook something, they finish. And um, I think as a workaway, yes, if you have good cooking skill, it will be a really good plus. And while we were having dinner together, um, my host had shown me some of the food cooked by other workawayers amazing like really nice food they have made so he is a michelin star chef mm -hmm. and he like made these oh his mother mm -hmm. is a michelin star chef and he made these in katrin's home looks so yummy it's like a soup that is uh, blended with a potato and uh -huh. vegetables he cooked it first and after he blended it really good sauce <laughs> actually it was really sunny just like a minute ago but as soon as i step out <laughs> it starts to rain but i'm hoping it's gonna be sunny again uh, later <laughs> oh i have some new scratches on my lens <laughs> uh, uh this is the insta 360 it is a very good camera very handy very small waterproof everything proof uh, but the lens the only weakness is the lens it's really really fragile and this is actually my second time hurting it these are already two new lenses i got it from germany just like a few months ago and then it scratched again Basically, the most expensive part of this camera is the lens. So, look, it's sunny again. I am walking through a cemetery to go to uh, where my hosts work because they left a bike there which I am going to borrow to ride around. My host proposed that she's going to drive me to here to pick the bike, but I insisted that I'm going to walk here because I would like to have a look at uh, the surrounding and stuff so yeah this is where the fish factory is uh, because my host son has left the bike here so i am coming here to pick it in here nobody's gonna steal a bike because nobody steals anything if you want to park your bike or car somewhere you just park it and leave it there it's gonna be there <laughs> Oh, look at that, a rainbow again. Oh, I have found the bike. The bike is just here. <laughs> it's left here for maybe days or something, and nobody would steal it. This is Sparrow Island, I love it. Like, you don't have to worry about the safety of your belongings. Okay, it took me quite a while to install this onto the bike but hopefully it's done correctly now so this is the final work i will put my uh phone in here and this is for taking selfie i hope it's safe because it's my first time to install it <laughs> I'll try to be so so you just try and see what you that is a Jakob bike and not a horse bike. Oh ah, okay. Okay, I'll try. Mm -hmm. I'll be yeah. careful then. Yeah. <laughs> it has a big safety aspect. Uh-huh. Oh when, when you are yeah, the gears they Try. I just practice here because no cars are driving. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try. 
try it first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see it's very, the seat is very tall. Yeah, it's quite tall. <laughs> Maybe Bua should ride it all. Yeah. So apparently my host, he drove by to come check out if I have found the bike and if I can ride it. Well, it's, it's quite tall because <laughs> apparently I'm not shorter than them. I think it's okay. I think it's okay. Okay, see you later. <laughs> I think it's fine. Uh, it's a little uncomfortable, but I'm riding it. <laughs> I'm riding it. <laughs> okay, just ride somewhere. I don't know. Let's ride anywhere. <sighs> I just have to be extra careful because it's really really tall the bike and i'm um, having this huge backpack is definitely not helping <laughs> this bike is too tall okay Whoa, boy. okay okay go to the other side <laughs> Because there isn't a bike lane on this main road, so I figure it will be much safer to ride on the pedestrian walk given my poor biking skill and the ceaseless passing cars on the road. And the likelihood of meeting an oncoming pedestrian is very low anyways. I'm riding uphill now because I don't know how to switch the gears, but this is hardcore cardio. <laughs> Oh my god, <laughs> and this bike is for sure not for me, like the distance between my seat and the handle is very long and the seat is very tall, so I just end up pushing the bike because I don't know how to switch the gears, uh, this is too hardcore for me. So my host was suggesting that I should ride with the car with them and let her son take the bike. I rejected. Why did I do that? <laughs> Why did I do that? <laughs> so. Actually, I'm so soaked in sweat. <laughs> so hot it's only like two degrees now but i'm so sweaty from the riding ah. yeah still pushing the bike well i rode a little bit actually there were some flat areas which i can ride but i've decided not to because my feet won't reach the ground whenever I want to stop. That's kind of dangerous, both for me and for my cameras, especially for my cameras. So I am just going to push, pushing the bike all the way from my post workplace to their home. Yep, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> Good amount of cardio for the day. <laughs> I'm so hungry. Oh, it suddenly occurred to me. They're just they're just leaving their bikes everywhere anyways. Why don't I just leave the bike somewhere and then tell them, oh Buas, can you can you ride the bike back? I just left it somewhere, it's beside the road. <laughs> Why do I have to push it all the way back to here? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay, that's a good idea. I just left it somewhere nearby their home. I'm just gonna walk back and 
eat something first <laughs> i've really drained all my energy pushing the bike uh, for almost i don't know at least half an hour <laughs> okay so my host had already fixed the bike for me I am going to try again <laughs> mm -hmm. I can ride ah, much better Ooh. I still don't know how to switch the gear <laughs> but let's just ride Whether the Faroe Island took it for cycling is really debatable. On the one hand, everywhere are picturesque, and most of the roads connecting villages and cities are well paved. You can ride to a lot of beautiful places on trails which are not accessible by cars. But on the other hand, the whole country is really hilly. While the downhill riding might be all exciting and enjoyable, you'll really struggle a lot when riding uphill. Additionally, there aren't a lot of designated bike lanes on the island, so a lot of times you'll have to share a path with cars hurtling beside you. On top of everything, the weather is so unpredictable, it could be really dreadful to ride in crazy wind and rain. In my opinion, for someone who is not super experienced with bikes, it is quite fun to have a short ride in good weather, it's visually extremely enjoyable. But when riding uphill, it's really challenging, and some unpaved trails can be really bumpy as well. And when riding on main roads, you gotta pay a lot of attention to cars driving by too, because the lanes in here are somehow narrower. However, for professional cyclists, this is really a perfect place to ride around. This is how I took the biking selfie. This Chinese brand Insta360 is really amazing. It makes full-angle cameras with lenses on each side of the body that capture a 200-degree view. The selfie stick is invisible because the lenses are precisely positioned to the camera, which allows the algorithm to overlap images taken by both lenses, creating images with the stick erased from the footage. Oh! One more amazing feature about this camera is that you can voice control it. Of course, you don't have to speak Chinese to control it. There are multiple languages available. I've mentioned this camera quite a few times in my previous videos. I really do think it's a wonderful invention for solo travelers and sport enthusiasts. Because the anti-shake, waterproof, shockproof, audio and color are all of excellence compared to its peers. I have had it for two years, but seriously, I just can't stop seeing praises about this camera. I think the only thing that annoys me is that the lenses are a bit fragile because it's protruding. So if you drop it on hard surfaces with the lens landing on it, you are basically... Well, still kind of okay. As you can see, there are some dirt-like dots on my video, but I think it's tolerable to me. Besides the camera itself, its editing application is super user-friendly. You can select different viewpoints and create footage that mimics a camera movement like this.
all set. I'm ready to hike. <laughs> Look at this place. It's like in a fairy tale. Okay, this is too much. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just push the bike. How can I be so dumb? I don't know how to sh shift the gears. <sighs> wow, but this is beautiful. I'm in this valley. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna just. Abandon the bike here and and walk up. Ah. 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 Okay, I'm gonna just leave the bike here. Walk from here. I'm gonna leave my bag here. Wow, this is my kind of place. I can just leave my shit everywhere and then come back for it. It's still gonna be there. <laughs> wow. Look at this place. It's actually not far from, uh, from the house. If I ride a bike to here, it's just like taking 10 minutes or something. If I walk here, maybe half an hour. I'm just gonna go around a bit. The reason why I chose Faroe Island for taking this long break is that this is one of those places that no matter where you go, it's just gonna be beautiful. So I don't really have a very specific goal or plan to go this and that, to go to Drangania or this and that waterfall. So I am quite aimless in here. So. Yeah, I'm happy to already be here. It doesn't matter where exactly.
<laughs> I'm having some delicacy in here with a nice sunset nearby. You know what is this? I bought it from Budapest. I was keeping it for some special occasion. This is Hungarian deep fried pork rind. Super high in calorie, but super high in protein as well. So I move the camera. You can see a little bit of sunset while me having this beautiful, tasty Hungarian pork rind. <laughs> pork rind. So it's basically a deep fried. Pork, pork skin. Super good. Oh, you want to hear it? The sound of it. it starts to rain and it's getting dark so I better get going luckily this place is only like uh, not far away from my host home so I just go back yeah I just go back go back go back I better go before it starts to rain heavily <laughs> I have to be careful about where I step on my previous host told me a lot of people they are wearing rainproof or waterproof gears while hiking and when they slip they just keep sliding because your waterproof clothing are very slippery so they just keep sliding sliding all the way all the way to the bottom of the cliff yeah it might happen so be very careful and get something not that slippery <laughs> so you can to increase the friction I don't know wear some wool or something so when you are falling down you actually wouldn't be sliding all the way down ah! Okay, time to go. The bike is still here, the camera is still here, everything's still here. Okay, as I was trying to ride it, something gone wrong. So apparently the rear wheel wouldn't move. It's just enough stuck mode so I am guessing I have to push the bike all the way back to the house again I just can't ride it what the what's going on oh, I had luck with the weather but not with the bike yeah so it was all okay and then something wrong with the oh, rear yes, yes, wheel. Yes, yes, yes. A super kind passerby saw me trudging with the bike and asked me if there was something wrong with my bike and he was trying to help me fix the problem. But I guess it's not too easy. After quite a long while, the problem persisted. Then a family with a car saw us struggling here and drove by to join the roadside repair workshop. But still no luck after some attempts. Thank you so much. Bye bye. So it's too difficult to fix the car. And uh, thank you so much for taking me. <laughs> so the car driver proposed to transport me and the bike back to the house. Thank you so much. 
Well, it was unlucky and lucky in the end. Oh, I don't even know how am I gonna get back if I didn't bump into them. And then while he was working on it, and it starts to rain. And then luckily there was another car coming back, okay, and then he the drove point. me here. Wow, <laughs> okay, good. It was good. lucky. <laughs> yes, otherwise I would be pushing the bike <laughs> all the way in the rain. So the bike is not working now. I think maybe I broke it. Although my host, they're like, no, 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 it's not your fault. The bike is very old. It's not your fault. Don't be sorry or this and that. But I'm feeling a little guilty because even themselves, they couldn't fix it now. Oh, beautiful. 就是为什么要要赚钱呢？